Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. Uh, something kept me up the other night and I wanted to verify it out on the range. So let's go ahead and get started. So folks, everybody knows I'm a proponent of, of having uh, backup iron sights or iron sights on your rifle uh, if you're gonna be using an optics, you know, in case you have an optic failure. Uh, I personally have experienced an optic failure in combat, so I'm a big believer in having irons on your rifle. Uh, that said, you know, a lot of folks will talk about uh, how they should have the the optic on there and how they should have the irons on there and you're going to hear co-witness absolute one-third whatever uh, so here is what i uh, put on the rifle just to check it uh, aim point uh, t2 with a nice american defense mount about as rock solid of a combination as you're going to find uh, funny thing the other day i zeroed the rifle uh, just like this with just irons on there wanted to run a 100, 150 rounds through it to, to break it in and help settle in the barrel and everything. Make sure all my sights were on tight and nothing was going to rattle loose. And sure enough, it was good. Uh, so I shot a really nice group uh, the other day with it. And it was point of aim, point of impact at 100 yards. All this is unsupported 100 yards iron sights just before dawn. So it'll hold about two inch group with iron sights and ball ammo. No match grade, anything like that. So it was point of aim, point of impact. Well, I mounted the optic on there. And I mount it the normal spot, uh, just like this, and it looks just like that. That should look familiar to a lot of you out there if you're running a red dot. Uh, I can co-witness my irons through my optic. Uh, weird thing is, when I verified my, or when I tried to verify my iron sights, I shot the irons uh, through the optic. It was off, but I wanted to make sure everything was still good to go. So my red dot was off, and I had to obviously look through this piece of glass, this piece of glass, and my shooting glasses. Oddly enough, I was aiming here. This was my group with no changes whatsoever. If you want to get a close up just to show how far off it can be, I was aiming here with my front sight. Guys, that's off, you know, three and a half to five inches. It's about a two inch group, which is typically what I can hold with ball ammo and irons. I thought I was going crazy. I mount the gun consistently every time. I have a good natural point of aim. I've got the buttstock pulled in tight to my shoulder. I have good trigger control, all the fundamentals we preach in class. So to make sure I wasn't losing my mind, I took the optic off and then shot the rifle again. Same configuration, just like this, on this bullseye right here. And guess what? I was right back where I started. Point of aim, point of impact. So this got me to thinking. You know, sometimes you find new stuff out, uh, no matter how long you've been doing this. And, you know, I've been on a range professionally now for over 20 years. But one thing I figured out is, is that if you're going to use your irons in conjunction with your red dot, you got two choices. You can either uh, zero the irons without the optic on there, just like this, then zero your red dot with the understanding that you're gonna have to take that optic off to have a true zero. Or what you can do is you can zero your irons with your optic on or you have it turned the dot turned off and through the glass and then leave it that way, understanding that if you take that off, it can change your, your zero quite a bit. So the thing is, guys, before I get any questions about this stuff, is like, we don't use the red dot and the irons at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, guys. I understand that. What I'm telling you is with this red dot turned off and having to use my iron sights through this two pieces of glass, that's how far off that it threw my shots. Once again, made sure I wasn't losing my mind, took this off, used the rifle just like this, and I was right back where I needed to be. Point of aim, point of impact at 100 yards. So I would warn you guys out there that are going to do co-witness, uh, you've got two options. Zero your irons, and just like this, with the understanding that you can pop your red dot off and then go to your true zero, or you're going to have to zero these irons through your uh, through your optic and make sure that it's the same way. You know, the thing is, is that it, it, you we're looking through pieces of glass. Sometimes those glass lens can, can be tilted a little bit, how they come from the factory. You're going to be looking at refraction. You guys know how that works with water. It certainly works that way with glass. Uh, so you got to make sure that, that you set up your rifle for your needs. Uh, it's a nice dewy, foggy morning, or at least a wet morning here in East Tennessee. Uh, people uh, don't understand this about optics sometimes, that they can fog over in any conditions. And I know for certain that it happens that way. So be, be very careful about what you're doing. So folks, I hope you found the information in this video helpful. Uh, it was certainly a, an eye-opener for me. And I uh, just want to make sure that you guys are aware of this potential issue. If you're going to be using optics, if you're going to be old school and run irons like I do, uh, then you won't have that problem. But just be aware of it. 
Uh, make sure you set up your rifle accordingly. As I said, uh, zero your irons just like this with no optic on it. And if you do put a red dot on there, understand that in order to get your true zero on your irons, you're gonna have to pop that optic off and then you'll be good. Uh, if you're gonna use an optic in conjunction with it, no problem, zero the irons through the optic, then zero your red dot independently. And then understand that, that that zero is valid through your optic only. Once you pop it off, it could change it a pretty good amount as you just saw there. Uh, if you like said, guys, you found the information helpful, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media, link is down below. And if you wanna come out and get some good training on your firearm, coming out to Valor Ridge and we can help you. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.